truck. Do you think that your relationship with your your father has affected kind of the th- abusive theme that you've experienced in your life with other men? Oh yeah, it it was like the uh, the the opening of the door to the vibration. So when I left home, against his wishes, he he looked me in the eyes and he told me, "You're going to be raped by nine men." The next thing you know, I'm moving to New York City. Then I'm landing in in the arms of the dude who I was with for 11 months who cast a spell on me. (laughs) Right. And then that led into going on to, you know, being so susceptible vibrationally to everything else, to also my purpose and being a target in the astral realm. Then to have the twins, Lauren Bourgeois, come and cast his spell on me. Then other people trying to put more spells and more energetic workings onto me. So it was just like a snowball effect. You know, it's it's interesting because like statistics show, right? Like if you've been abused before, the the likeliness of it happening to you again, it's almost like predators or people, they have like this knowing that this person is easy to target or I don't know if it's happened to them before or you know, it's it's sad. It's vibration. Though. Right. It's vib- it's vibration. So, how do you cope with these things and how do you feel like they affect you to this day? Well, I mean, in retrospect, I, I look at everything and I'm like, wow, I endured a lot. So I can only look at myself as a really strong person to have overcome so much and to even still be standing here now and to have joy and peace and to have my fucking crown on my birthday. That's why I got to let people know it's my birthday. That's why I'm wearing, wearing a crown. Yeah. <laughs> you know? We celebrate And that's why she got a drink, exactly. too. You know? Exactly. Exactly. So. Yeah. So it's like, yeah, I, I can I can still bring my life back together, even going through all this, you know, and that's just it's a testament and to show other people that you can lift yourself out of the mud, out of any quicksand that you're sinking in. Do you think that you ever had any moments where you kind of like allowed yourself to to wallow in like the things that happened to you instead of like lifting yourself up? Oh, yeah, I I, I have soaked in low vibrations for months, you know? And even before, like in 2020, when I, I ended up in the hospital right before the pandemic hit, like I, I was wanting to die. And vibrationally, I put myself in that position of being near death. How, how did you lift yourself up out of that? Well, it was more so, you know, the universe, God, whatever you want to call it. Um, lifting me out of it because you know having to be admitted to the hospital near-death experience can't breathe all of a sudden all this COVID hitting all this COVID news hitting as soon when i'm in the hospital the nurse is running into my room in hazmat suits like rushing me to icu it was like a whole experience you know and i'm like okay i guess i'm i, I i'm meant to still be here and i'm i'm meant to you know carry on and fulfill a purpose so did you have like an anxiety attack? That's why you were in the hospital or like, what was it? No, what it was. Okay. So vibrationally, like what, it, there are physical things. Now, when you're in a vibrational state and you want to achieve something, you'll attract whatever means necessary to achieve your result. So me wanting to die, right? I got a, I got a weed vape from a friend, right? From the streets, not the dispensary. And I remember looking at the, the vape, and I, something was like, mm. and I just brushed it aside. Three days later, I woke up, and I was on the couch for like two days, like just wanting, not wanting to live. Three days later, I woke up, and I couldn't breathe. Mm. My sister had to rush me to the hospital, and then, the, you know, it was there. And then like a day later is when all the COVID news hit. So it was like, it was weird how, even though I manifested this singularly, it was still a part of the consensus reality, you know? Right. So we're all still a collective, which is why we're all one. But even though I was trying to manifest my singular death, it was still part of the collective consensus reality. 